Yep. Yep, that's when I actually really last re played and recorded. Anyway, I'll be right back. You know what's crazy? Is that there's a couple of things I want to talk about. Number one, I'll get notifications twice. Yeah, I don't mind it being that if it tells me that a, a video uploads. Because, yeah, this is for YouTube. And speaking of YouTube, this is the second thing. Because, uh, yeah, it's part of the whole thing anyway, where I get notifications from that. And the annoying thing about it is there's no way to really separate it. So, even though I like having, some, you know, um, notifications on and all that to let me know through my Gmail or whatever, so it doesn't constantly beat me every time I'm doing something much. Don't get me wrong. Like I've said before, notifications are one thing. It's another when I have to constantly be told, like, uh, on my phone, hey, by the way, did you notice some moron uploaded? Now, this isn't me trying to call out anybody to say that you're a moron or whatever. It, though I do support other people, even though I don't, but at the same time, don't personally watch a video to spoil myself on it if I'm playing the same dang thing. Until I'm done with that video, that playthrough. Then that's when I start doing things. And I took off a week from BitChute. But anyway, so the thing I wanted to talk about, the second part, was the whole uh, crazy thing about YouTube is that what well, seems to do it for me, which doesn't mean it's a good thing, no... Uh, anytime I have any kind of music, it's not the sounds, it's the music. That gets, seems to get copyrighted. And I really mean that. I mean, I don't know how many of you... I don't understand the whole, the whole thing because it's like this. I've seen a lot of videos. And again, I'm not doing it to spoil myself, but I can listen to it and hear the music on it. And it's like, why aren't they getting copyrighted, but I'm getting copyrighted? Now, here's my thing I understand. If you get the wrong idea, I'm not saying they need to be copyrighted. No, that's kind of stupid. I, mean, I don't think anybody should have to go through the copyright kind of crap. But what can I do? I'm just one simple random person on the internet that wouldn't matter if I had a million subscribers or not. It's the idea that Okay, any kind of music I play on here, whether it has anything to do with the game, or any kind of game, for that matter in general, and, or if I decide to add music from YouTube itself that's actually there, because that's the only way I can do it, right? Or if I decide to put it on my computer, right? They're going to copyright that, as they probably should. What gets me is... When people make rules as well, they're not going to enforce it to other people or enforce, I, you know, the idea. It's like, okay, when it comes to nudity, you know, or any kind of porn. Yeah, I'm going to say it. Yeah. You know, I say it's not allowed, but yet I've seen literally, you know, foreign countries literally do this. I mean, foreign people. And it was Indians... Whatever. And this isn't me calling them out saying it's because there's this and that. No, it ain't because of that. It's like... <sighs> okay, the thing that gets me is... Yeah, maybe it is because they are. And I'm not saying that for myself. No, for the record. I'm not saying, I, oh, I, yeah, well, I'm against it because it's them. No, it's because... It's like, this is what it is. It's like a positive for them. And maybe some general people that they might select and say, oh, it's okay, it doesn't go against community standard rules. Because they have porn and nudity. But they're not going to force it on anybody else but me. So if I decide I want to moon somebody on the internet, you know, show off my ass, excuse my language, I show off my butt cheeks and say, ha ha, kiss my butt. You know, I would literally get my account taken down. It doesn't matter whether it's YouTube or if it's Facebook. You know, the moment I do that, I get into a lot of trouble. But, it'll always, it'll always drive me crazy. And I know it's like 12 o'clock the next day. I'm not going to upload this till later. But, uh, yeah, because I actually got a late start on this. 
and it's not good to lost a subscriber on you. But I was never in it for the subscribers anyway. Even though that sometimes I might say, please subscribe, share, and like my video, you know? I don't want to push it on people, and I really mean that. But every now and again, I have to put it out there if, like, if you haven't already subscribed. Do so now. Especially if you enjoy my content enough to absolutely want to help me out and get me help me get up there. As it doesn't just take views to get my content pushed to the algorithm. Obviously, people don't care. You know, they just want to do whatever they want to do and just like, nah, forget it. So in the meantime, yeah, I'm down to 12 subscribers. That's real great. I got 33 I got 33 subscribers on YouTube. I'm not going to sit here and make it a don't get me I mean don't get me wrong I'm not going to sit here and make it a personal goal of mine to say oh yeah I need subscribers to be happy. No, I I don't need that to be happy. But it would be nice so that I can get my content recognized. Because yes, I like to share my voices even if most of the world doesn't like my voices or like hearing me and yet hear the same voices but from someone else who might be doing it better. Even though I also support the idea that it's interesting to see it from other point of points of view. But again, if I cannot play it, I might spoil myself on it. And I hate to admit to it, but yeah, I might do that. Because I am not rich. And a lot of you might go, why don't you invest in the Bitcoin or whatever? I don't buy into it. I have tried to get into it, but they're no longer making it a thing. And another thing is that it doesn't do me no good five or ten years when I might be dead. And gone. I plan to live a long time or as long as I can live. I'd love to live forever, but I don't know. I'm not going to say people don't last forever. Who knows? Maybe there will be people who live last forever. Or at least seems like that because, you know, hell, the, the, the oldest living person that actually lived was Methuselah. I think it was or whatever, right? Well, now you got people that have finally passed the threshold of 100. And that doesn't happen very often. A lot of people don't make it to that. They either they either pass away at fifty earlier than that. And it's not always just because of a disease or because of cardiac arrest. It's because once they reach that certain point, they're gone. And it doesn't matter how unhealthy or healthy they are. You know, you could be the healthiest or unhealthiest person and still make it. So, and whether people believe you or not. I mean, not it's still true. Doesn't make it less, uh, you know, facts. You know, even if I, even if you heard it from someone else, doesn't mean that I'm lying. It just means you don't want to listen to it from me. I wish you would listen to me. I mean, you know, because what I say is real. You know, I don't fake my life. Okay. I admit that I had personalities as part of a show. That was just it. Part of a show. It wasn't a full-on show where I was just like doing where I faked. Basically, you might say half-assed things. In a way. That even though that I fully scripted these characters to be like... Uh, uh, what is it? Um, Shakespeare's whatever it is, uh, stuff meets Romeo and Juliet only without the lovey-dovey crap. Because to me, it is crap. I mean, like, I will support people. Yes, I will. But it doesn't mean I have to accept it like, oh, I love these two together. You know? I believe that certain people do fit together regardless of whether it's man and woman or not. But the fact this no always remain is that it's like it constantly shoves it down my throat 
It seems to be that way. I mean, not not every one of them do this, but there's a lot of it. Like, man, this they're so straight. There's nothing lesbian about it or whatever. And I'm not saying it has to be. I'm just trying to make a general point that when we talk about a world that's supposed to mix it up and everything, we don't do that for a lot of things. So they gotta. I mean, when they do that kind of stuff, it's not shoving it down my throat. I don't see it that way. Because I can definitely tell the difference. I mean, maybe I didn't know years ago, but like it started out with, believe it or not, Sailor Moon. Yeah. I was like, ew. Even when I wasn't an adult. And then when I became an adult. Ew. What makes it worse of all is that they're underage. I mean, that should have been a dead giveaway. But we never thought about that, even as old as we got. I mean, for now, uh, fast forward to the future of them. Yeah, we can still find them, uh, I guess, attractive. I mean, what's wrong with finding a, a cartoon woman uh, attractive? Nothing wrong with that. Just because we can't sleep. I mean, yeah, to be fair, a lot of us don't get the fortunity or fortitude to absolutely sit there and sleep with a hot, beauty, young queen... That could be the most popular person on the campus because she's skinny, has all this stuff going on, you know, and she could be the beauty queen of the contest. And, you know, so, I mean, yeah, when I posted that video, I just can't believe I got that many views on that video. And other than that, I, I have to admit that there's something that I don't want to talk about that I lost, and I hate that it happens. Without it, and I know I know where exactly where it's at. I just I gotta find it. It's very important. I admit that there's a lot of things in my life that's important. But the things I'm not going to say is, well, material possessions are not far more important to me. Yeah, an umbrella is important to me, and it might be a material possession, but it is important to me, just like tools are. Tools are important to me, you know. A phone is important to me. It has nothing to do with whether or not I can game on it or not. Speaking of which, I've actually been playing this other game. Um, it, it, like, it comes out like most games. It is pretty crazy. I don't really like like the most of it, but it's a pretty good, fun game. Um, I can't think of it now, but I turned off the sound anyway. It doesn't matter, because the, the recorder on this really sucks. So I'm actually going to go down to... I can't believe it actually has its own folder, because I didn't do that, but I'm glad it did. So it is called, hold on a minute, Lily, My Hotel Life. Very interesting. Yeah, and it's raining outside. You know, there's also my keys that are important to me. You know. And uh, my, an my animals, or animals, however many I have, I've only got one right now. It's important to me. You know, there's quite a few things I could say that are also important to me that I don't really have to have. I don't have to have so many several VCRs to be happy. I don't have to have a good working PC that runs all these brand new games that you actually have to have in order to run them. I don't have to have a brand new console that runs these other games that are brand new either. So, really... Those are material possessions I could deal without. An umbrella, not so much. And that includes even, not limited to, but um, clothes. Even though that those are material possessions as well. But these are far more important, I feel. More than, you know, like a brand new TV or even if it was an old one. I feel that those would actually be far more important to me. 
then I wouldn't know what to do if I lost him. I hate to lose a TV. I hate. Don't get me wrong. I I I really would. I would, and including all the other devices I've got. But hey, especially because of how expensive it is to get some of these devices that I've got, and oh my God, are they expensive? Like a brand new console is going to run you at least a hell of a lot of money. You can find them used and cheap. But it depends on where you're getting it from. DK Oldies doesn't have it used. And they'll never have it used. Um, But, yeah, I mean... I have to admit that... I mean, I've been getting into a lot of these mobile games that I absolutely have found that are enjoyable. The thing I... I admit that... Um, I play games that do with weed... And not because, oh, well, I fancy myself a person that's going to start selling weed or anything like that, regardless of whether it's illegal or not. I don't care. That has nothing to do with it. It was just a game I was enjoying. And uh, so Cheech and Chung, I don't know if you guys ever heard of that, but they're pretty famous people. They have their own game. It's called something about Bud or something like that. And I would have loved to play it, but I have a hell of a lot of games that it is. And... I don't want to have to sacrifice anything that I have just to get it. I know that may not make sense, and I'm sure it's an enjoyable game. And I, actually, it is kind of enjoyable to a certain degree. I haven't been able to immerse myself into it. And one of the things that I didn't know I still had was Township. I still have Township on this phone. I thought I got rid of it. I need to get rid of a, another Eden as well. Because they, I no longer even play them. Another Eden, to me, is a broken project to... I just can't get myself into fully immersed. Plus, the way I play it, um, it works well when I play it. But when I record it, it, uh, it looks like crap. Because literally, you have to break your freaking neck... Excuse my language. Your neck to even look at the thing. So, that kind of... I guess... It was uh, on top of that. It was just not a popular series, and not because I really care whether or not it got any enough views to it. You know, but I will say this: that if you're looking to play a game, it shouldn't be so dang hard. So I believe I said I was going to go over this anyway. So. Let's just uh, do that. I think there were some new ones that I got. I know that we went and got Pidgeotto, Rattata, Akans. Yeah, I don't think that was a new one. It would be a little bit more newer if I'd have got data for it, which I'm not even sure. Probably going to be somewhere before in Safari Zone, if I had to guess. Ah, there we go. There's that, and... Uh, Poison Pokemon. I don't know if you saw that one or not. I think I've read these. Ah, uh, here's one right here. Another one. Clefairy, fairy Pokemon. Its adorable appearance makes it pop. Appearance makes it popular as a pet. However, it is rare and difficult to find. <laughs> the thing is about it is that so far the the males, even though I'm not trying to be. Whatever you call it, because it really it doesn't really matter. But it seems like the more popular ones than strong stronger ones, for a lot of the most majority of Pokemon has been the males. Don't ask me. Hey, 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 hey! Don't get on to me about it. It's not. I didn't design it. It wasn't me. Anyway, height two zero zero weight to sixteen point five pounds. However, here's the good thing about the bad, the thing about the bad drawback. You can actually make the females stronger than the male. That's the good thing about it. What's the bad part about it is that, yeah, that that makes the makes the males look like pure crap. So really, you know, uh, not that it matters, but yeah. And then there's Jigglypuff. Okay, it's a balloon Pokemon. Number 39. Not that it matters what number it is. Height 108, weight 12.1 pounds. It captivates foes with its huge round eyes. 
then lulls them to sleep by singing a soothing melody. Okay. So, yeah, and then I think Zubat is new. Zubat, bat Pokemon. <laughs> It has no eyes. Instead, it relies on its ultrasonic cries for echolocation to tilt about in darkness. I think that's what that says. I, I think I think it's gonna have to go away. I mean, yeah. get that. Sorry, I took so long re talking for a little bit there, but yeah, yeah. It, oh no, it, it, for echo. <sighs> Cries for echolocation to flit about in darkness. I have no idea what that means. Do they mean like flicker around or something? So, and then Oddish is new, but I can't get any data on that one. Paris. Pars, Pars. Mushroom Pokemon. Height 100, weight 11.9 pounds. Growing out of the bug's back are mushrooms called Tachikusso. The mushrooms grow with a huge host. That's pretty good. So, I don't think... I think... I, I don't know if I actually showed this one on or not. But it's a pig poke... It, Mankey is a pig Pokemon. Light and agile on its feet. And ferocious in temperament. When, in, when angered, it flies into an uncontrollable frenzy. Yeah. I think there was another one called Primeape or something. That was actually supposed to be the worst of all. Something like that, anyway. Oh, uh, yep, there's Bellsprout. That's new, but we can't get any new information on it yet. Ah, Geodude. Geodude, Geodude. Rock-type Pokemon. Number four, 74, like it really matters, anyway. Height, 104. Weight, 44.1 pounds. Its round form makes it easy to pick up. Some people have used them to hurl at each other in a snowball fight. Um, whatever. But, as well, the males seem to be a little bit more popular for people to get than it is to get females. Yeah. But, again, if you've got females, which it doesn't matter, except for Nidoran and Nidoran. Even though they're actually supposed to be Nidorino, but whatever, anyway. <laughs> yeah, Onyx. I would love to have an Onyx. And then there's Voltorb. So. But, yeah, that seems to be the thing. And then also, I guess we can't get... Um, uh, our Pokédex is got to, in order to update it, I'm not sure how it goes, but apparently there's more. I'm not sure how that works. So, you know, because, uh, yeah, I actually saw a cheat list for this that I don't really need. Not as badly as you might think, so... Oh, wow, that's the Boulder Badge. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, okay, yada, 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 yada. So, the thing is, as well, is that I will con I'm, I'm sorry to point it out, and I, because I know, I mean, I don't really, I'm not, actually, I want to, for the record, I'm not going to say sorry like I regret it, but, anyway, so, the thing is, is that you're going to have to cheat if you want to 100% this game, period. The good thing as well is you don't actually have to fully cheat in order to 100% it. But you're going to have to for the most part because you're missing Pokemon. Unless, and I mean unless, you somehow trade in the thing. Otherwise, there is no point into it. So yeah, females can be ran as stronger Pokemon than males can... If you level them up and everything. That's a pretty good part about them. The female types in this game. Actually, in any Pokemon game. I did not know that. So, anyway. Now I gotta run. I'll be right back. I got this. So, here's another thing for you. Is that... I told you about this series. Okay. Called, I got a cheat skill in another world and became... Unrivaled in the real world too, T O O. Anyway, I'm watching the. I'm actually in uh, episode three. Life changes. I obviously can't watch it while I'm, you know, playing the game and record at the same time because of, this is for YouTube. Um. So the thing is, I like the show. It's all right. It has its. Some things I just I didn't quite like about it, but 
ultimately, I take that back, pin ultimately, I'm liking it, but I'm going to have to stop. And I always hate to have to stop, even though that eventually I would have to anyway. But, I mean, like, before the drawing conclusion of the end mm. of the show. So, uh, you know, the actual show is serious. So. so, anyway, the name of this, the episode is called Life Changes. And I get the guy who's trying to be a hero and all that. But the thing that, that gets me, right, is that he said this thing. I think he was thinking it, but, yeah, you know, if you know anything about shows, they're going to put it, like, where you can actually hear their thoughts for some s sillier reason, because it's not like we're betas or they're mind readers. But anyway, so he says, I, I, you know, it's the least thing I can do since they're in a bind or whatever, like, as if you owe it to them. You don't owe it to them. You know, okay, there's a difference between being a hero and doing it like you owe it to them, Okay. You didn't do anything that you... Oh, my God. You didn't do anything that you actually owe that to him. Okay, I get the guy's trying to be a good Samaritan and all that kind of stuff. But still, to even suggest that you like you owe it is a crazy thing. And I would never do that to be just to be a hero. I mean, this is like... In the real world, okay, literally, this guy is taking posing photos, be pretending to be the boyfriend in the photos, even though that he has no real relation with the woman that he's taking photos with, because the guy that she's with apparently is a, dr a drunkard, and he couldn't bother to be bothered to show up, so they had to use him as a stand-in for the photos. And, um, but see, the thing is that he actually did do something that I feel that it was fitting of being a good Samaritan and to really be a good Samaritan, even if he didn't know it to her, was he saved a woman's life in the other world. Yeah, I know. A lot of you will go, what do you mean by the other world? It's, all right, okay, this is how I'm going to sum it up for you. He actually finds a door. Which helps him transform his life. You want to know more, you'll have to watch it. Because I don't want to spoil it too much for you. But I'm trying to sum it up without spoiling it. Not, well, not too much anyway. Because it's going to be a little bit of spoilers anyway. But hopefully it's not too much. You can't watch the show. Anyway, it changes his life. And eventually, one, following one episode later, he finds this thing where he actually saves someone. And that, to me, is more fitting, even if you don't know it. This, I, no, that is not excusable. I can let it go because it's a show, it already happened, there's nothing I could do about it. I would, I, you know, I mean, I'm not going to try and stop the guy from doing the, if that's what he wants to do, but I still don't think it's right, because it's like basically letting people take advantage of you, and I... Don't like letting people take advantage of me. So, yeah. Anyway. Okay, so, um, I think we were about ready to get out of here. So, but like I said, I, I apologize about the gender thing, but that's the way Pokemon is. You know, like animals and stuff in real life. Like, you know, the thing about in real life, though, is that yeah, both genders can equally balance themselves out. In Pokemon World, no. It's, I know it's shove a shield, a sh uh, whatever you call it. Chauvinistic, you know, or, or piggish, but it's not meant to be that way. It's just the truth about this game. Yeah, you know, I mean, yeah, it's a fun game. But it has nothing to do with the, the gender roles for me. I mean, for me, I just get it like whatever because it may, seems to make more sense. Um, to whatever that I'm trying to provide. Because I know that eventually to work itself out, I'm going to have to start capturing uh, female versions, no matter what level they are, in order to 
balance out the thing because, you know, well, I don't know if it's actually in this version, but I know that in almost every one of them is supposed to be, you're supposed to start uh, eventually capturing uh, to kind of counterbalance it out and mix it up and get, you know, them. So, I was playing a game where um, I, or I started a game of Pokemon. I'm sorry if that doesn't sound right. Every time I sound it, uh, uh, it might sound like I'm saying G-A-Y, but I'm not. What I'm trying to say is game. Game. J-A-M-E. Sorry. I'm not trying to yell out in your ears or whatever. I'm trying to repeat myself so many times, but it's just so I can make it clear that's what I'm trying to say. Not because I'm trying to cover it up or anything. No, I'm telling the truth, even if you don't believe me. Which I know you probably won't. But that's the way it runs. And what gets me as well is the transcripts or whatever that will actually translate what I say will say something completely outrageous as well. But anyway, so... Yeah, I played a game where I was starting to catch Pokemon. And then um, I couldn't do a full set when I talked to the professor. And he basically said, well, you need to start, you know, uh, doing something like, huh, what do you mean? That's what I said at the time, if I remember correctly. So I wound up catching females, and that kind of balanced the whole thing. He said, well, nice job. So... Because it, I guess it, it more improves it, makes it more equally fair, fairly balanced to have both genders. So that is pretty cool in itself because, yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, you know, animals are going to be animals. And I've never, I've never understood, like, I mean, like, years later when I began to understand things and everything, right? Why suddenly people say, oh, it's so wrong for another female dog to say that, you know, being doing it with another female dog. Why? If we can accept humans like that, then we can accept dogs. I mean, so they're not exactly making babies. Who the hell cares? But apparently you do. And I know you pay for it and all that kind of stuff, but why are you judging? That doesn't even make sense. Like, there's another thing. Uh, that animals also do things that a lot of humans frown upon. I'm not going to say what it is, but, you know. And I'm not talking about, you know, whatever. Did I not do this guy already? I think I did already do this guy. Anyway, come on, Pikachu. Pokemon lived here long ago before people came. Okay, so he's just looking around. I guess he's like one of them does. But yeah, I'd never be ashamed to go back and forth. Uh, I mean, like, unless you're like not... Uh, if you're not like leveled up like I am, yeah, don't be ashamed to actually go in and out because that's ridiculous not to go back in and out when you, you know, you're not, when you're not as leveled up as I am. You know... I mean, you can do it however you want to. You got me wrong. I'm not trying to judge you and tell you you, sh you don't want it, and you shouldn't do that. That's what you just decide to do. But it's still ridiculous because you're gonna run into a problem. See, what makes it a problem is that you, when I'm like this, I don't have to go back and forth out in and out. I mean, I still kind of have to, but not as badly. So, because I need to be able to go through it all and do that. So, I was trying to see if I couldn't get a male version of Clefairy, but I guess there isn't a such thing. I don't really care, per se, um, what it is as far as gender goes. Not me, myself. I don't care. But it's just because... Oh, hey, look at that. There is one now. I don't need it now. I would... I, I, since I've already captured one... It doesn't matter. I don't know why we're suddenly doing this. What I need to find is an Onyx to complete my collection here and other mini Pokemon. So I'll have to look that up. So, yeah. Uh, I try to do this for as long as I can. Uh, by the way, this is being recorded as of, uh, yeah, Monday, June the 12th. And, um... Yeah, so it's it's been a good day, and then it wasn't. So, you know, it was like kind of a, it started out kind of bad anyway. 
There we go. We, Team Rocket, shall find the fossils. Revisiting, I mean, reviving Pokemon from them will earn us... Come on now. There you are. I don't know if you can see it. I hope you can. They're in this huge riches. So, yeah, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and do this guy. Wait, that doesn't sound right. I mean, I'm going to go ahead and take him down. Look at that. So, I mean, you know, Team Rocket Grunt would like to battle with his measly two Pokemon. It's sent out Red Tail. Like, that's really going to do anything. Go, Pikachu! Or Pikachu! Again, I'm never going to... I'm not going to do it to please people. I mean, you know, even if I wind up losing thousands of subscribers, it doesn't really matter to me. Because, I mean... I, ooh, Hyper Fang! Ooh, that's not good. I didn't mean to do that. He actually... Oh, he got me with that. That's I was thinking for a minute that I did that. Never mind. I hate that one to death. That makes you look like you did it. Confusing thing. Anyway, so there you go. Pikachu grew to, to there. And, um... Team Rocket Grunt is about to use Zubat. Yes, because my Pikachu is pretty low on health anyway. But I need to change it out. So who's got the lowest now? Probably gonna be, um... Well, I could change out for Paris, but I'm not sure if I want to change out. Uh, these lower Pokemon, I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep leveling them up. Because they're not gonna be part of my permanent team, I don't think. Uh, maybe. I'm not yet sure about that. So, I guess I'll go with this guy here, Jackal. So, you know. And, uh, I, I apologize for the swearing, but, you know... So make a point about me, you know, being able to. Why does that look like it doesn't look like I captured it? Well, it doesn't really matter. Uh, I don't mean like, I don't. Maybe it does make sense to put it like this, and um, you know, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, so you don't get confused and think that you have theirs. You know, yeah, and it's still, I still think it's pretty crazy when you think about that. You know, you can't steal from Team Rocket, but they can steal from you. I mean, the game's not going to be set that way. But I think there's like some sort of storyline down the road in one of the games or whatever where they can and will. Urgh, now I'm mad. Yeah, but you you still lost. Yep, that's quite a lot of money. You made me mad. Team Rocket will, will dark list you. I'm, I don't see. I, I don't know if I should really say that or not because I mean it could be considered being racist, I guess. So you know, the thing is, there's another ladder there, and I I hate that you're given a choice here because. You have literally four things that need to be done from fossils. And it's, you can either do it with fossils, or you can actually get the Pokemon. I'd rather really get the Pokemon, because, um, you know, um, you only have, like, one fossil anyway you can use. And whether or not I choose to use that Pokemon, I'm not, I don't think I will. But I will try and re I use it anyway. You could kind of have to kind of revive it or whatever. Why is there never an Onyx here? Anyway, that would be nice to find, but I'm going to run. Got away safely. So I'm actually going to change out Pokemon because I forgot to do that. Not that it matters because, you know, here we go. And soon enough, I don't know what level. See, I, I have really no idea what levels... And sometimes, in cases, that type advantages, which I don't understand it either, can be effective towards when they actually evolve. Hey, stop! I found these fossils. They're both mine. Yeah, see, they're with their greedy guy. So. <laughs> Super nerd! Migel or Migel. 
would like to battle with his three measly Pokemon against my strong Pokemon. So you think about this as this is not the Pokemon series. Sent out Grimer. Ooh, that's a new Pokemon. Um, what was I talking about now? All right, because see, the Pokemon series actually has, believe it or not, that they still have where they evolve, but they take their time doing it. In this game, I mean, they still get strong on their own, but they don't try and stop them from evolving. With Pikachu, he never gets evolved, and I'm not going to say that he should have evolved, because, you know, maybe at one point, you know, I could say, ooh, a new, another one, I think, right? No, I don't know, maybe it's not new. I think it's, yeah. Yeah, send out coughing. And that, you know, the thing about, you know, this as well is that I, I don't think it's going to be an, uh, ooh, cool. Burn! That's the first time that actually happened. I used, he used smog, that's not good. But, anyway. The coughing is hurt by it. It's burn. Ha ha ha. Well, you're going to die anyway. So, but yeah, I'm just saying, like, um, you know, it's, it's just better to eat, get your Pokemon to fall, like, through, like, battling and stuff. I'm not saying you need to be, like, like, third evolution, but most of the time, it just depends on the luck ratio of the game. Like, a lot of times, you can get away with doing it, and I would say as well, probably lead to the do with ad type advantage. Uh, so, yeah, look at that. <clears throat> Super new Bigel is about to use Voltorb. I don't know if that's a new one or not, but yes, I'm going to change Bro. Pokemon because, you know. Uh, who's my lowest? I guess Pidgeotto is now the lowest now. Because he's like that. Even though I'm probably not going to be able to get Pidgeotto to level up here, but ha! He is using his second Pokemon that he didn't buy to send it out in the lineup. I'm guessing that's the way it is for them, but it doesn't really matter, so. Whirlwind. Yeah, that's not... But it failed. Uh, 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 Alright. Yeah, okay, maybe that is a new Pokemon. Let's just use Gust. It seems to be more effective than Whirlwind. It was not effective against a, a level 12. Uh-oh. Oh, God. That's pretty bad when they do that, because that means they're about ready to sacrifice themselves, and that's not good. So I'm going to use this. Oh, you... Will you stop? But it failed again. Why is it failing? Okay, I'm gonna use Gust then again. Since Whirlwind ain't doing crap to this Pokemon. It's not very effective. Vulture used Screech. Okay, I gotta do this again. Harshly fell. Well, that's not good. Well, we're going to use Gust anyway. Again, hopefully we can knock this guy down. So, yeah, I mean, apparently Wind Whirlwind is not doing me a world look of good. So, there's also a move in here that I, uh, apparently, I'm not, I'm not sure, but apparently in most, um, most versions you can only get it one for most of the uh, moves, but I'm not going to tell you what it is. Okay, I'll share. Says a super nerd. Like we really need to know that Killer got 288 for winning. So anyway. We'll each take a fossil. No being greedy. Alright, that's all the time I have for this episode. And I'll see you guys next time. Yeah, so basically. Uh, go ahead and skip ahead. Like somewhere about 20 minutes or so. Because I didn't realize that's how long it took me to get through all that. But I had a lot to say. Because, you know, sometimes, you know, it take a while. But at least I got enough done that I could actually say that I accomplished at least something in this thing. Anyway, later.